We're happy to see everybody here, and we're here to discuss Archway Apartments, a 106-unit property in Riverdale, Georgia, which is part of the Atlanta MSA. Next slide, please. And uh, we have here a brief disclaimer that's going to talk about some of the, the risks and the opportunities involved with an investment such as this. You can take a moment to read this, and this will be passed out to everybody in attendance. Next slide. So here we have some information on the sponsorship team. You know, a lot of times it's often said that it's not so much the, the horse as it is the jockey. Well, in this case, these are the, the jockey members here of this particular project property. So on the left side, you see the cash flow champs team. We have six partners, myself included, Charles Seaman. Uh, I head up the acquisitions and the asset management. Paul Senior and Prashant Kumar head up investor relations. Ryan Murphy in charge of general business operations, and Brian Bernal and Christian Carrillo in charge of marketing, branding, social media. And on the right side, we're partnering with Adam Bolsinger of Investor Boardroom on this deal. And both teams have a plethora of experience in the multifamily space. Next slide. So on this slide, you can see some of the, the track record of our prior deals. Collectively, between Cashflow Champs and Investor Boardroom, we have 17 deals that we've been general partners in to date. Eight of those deals have been full cycle, meaning that we've actually returned money to investors and made the money as well. Uh, we have assets currently in the management in the Carolinas, Georgia, Florida, Texas, Indiana, and Arizona. And one thing the slide doesn't say is of those full cycle deals, it's worth noting that four of them were actually in the Atlanta market. And the returns on those deals range from 19% on the low side to 37% on the high side, and that's an annual return. Next slide. Okay, so now we're gonna run through the, the property a little bit. So we were out at the property in May doing due diligence. During that, we really got a chance to see you know, the, the units and the quality of the property. So we're gonna highlight some of that in the upcoming slides here. Next slide. So here you see a photograph of one of the building exteriors. Um, early 70s construction, so it's workforce housing in an area that certainly has plenty of demand for that. Property is 14 buildings with a great unit mix. And one thing really worth pointing out is the floor plans. And you'll be able to see that a little later in this presentation, but the average size of the floor plan is 1,173 square feet. Even for new construction, that's very, very competitive, but for early 70s construction, that's definitely a rarity. Next slide. So here we have a couple of photographs of some of the, the common areas for the property. On the left side, the gray building, that's the, the leasing office and clubhouse. You can see there's some beautiful landscaping outside. The retaining walls are in good condition. So those are all nice selling points and things that we look for as we go into properties because they're inviting and they invite the right type of tenant demographics in there. So on the right side, you can see that there's some games in the in the clubhouse area. There's uh, foosball and billiards. That's some popular things for the, the tenants to amuse themselves with. And down below, you have a playground and some of the pool furniture and the laundry facility. So these are all attractive amenities that drive tenants to the property. Next slide. So here we have the floor plans, which we touched on just a moment ago. And you can see the one bedroom is 950 square feet. They're all loft style units. The two and three bedrooms are all townhomes. And townhomes have always been desirable, but especially in the post-COVID world, they become so much more desirable because people like having space. They like having you know, a little more uh, freedom. So that way they're not so cramped in, especially if they're working from home. So on the one bedrooms, there's 24 of those at the property. 
The two bedrooms, there's 58, and the three bedrooms, 24. So overall, a very attractive unit mix with great floor plans. Next slide, please. Okay, so we're going to talk about now the, the business plan and the returns. Why would somebody want to invest in this deal? And what gets us excited about it? Well, let's let's tell you about that. Next slide. So the real key to this deal, and, and the key to many deals that I think a lot of us have really seen play out over the last year to year and a half, is the debt. And the great thing with this deal is it has incredible debt. It has a, a Fannie Mae loan that we're going to be assuming. It has both a senior loan and a supplemental loan. And with those loans, they have a blended interest rate of 3.79% with just about seven years left on the term. So we have plenty of time. Another thing we like is the cash on cash return. So having deals that cash flow throughout the whole period are always a plus. And with this one here, we're expecting north of a 7% cash on cash return throughout the projected five-year hold period. So it'll start a little bit lower in year one. Uh, part of the opportunity is coming in here and cleaning up a lot of a lot of tenants with high delinquent balances. So that's going to take the better part of year one to do that. So we're showing a lower cash on cash return in year one in the mid 4% range, but then that goes up considerably in year two and future years as we have those initial tenants cleaned up. Something else very attractive is that the sellers already put a good amount of CapEx money into the property. They spent north of a million dollars since acquiring the property in 2020, and they've upgraded approximately 60% of the units in different in different ways as needed. On the right side, you can see a couple more photographs. You can see the, the swimming pool, you know, very sizable, very clean. And you get to see also some of the, the living spaces in the units. Next slide, please. So here we have some, some facts about the apartment community and also about the area. The, the one that I'm really gonna point out, and you'll notice is the third one down in the slide. Within this sub-market, average effective rent increases have been 13.1% annually since 2013. Now, for anybody who's familiar with anything that's happened in the post-pandemic world, uh, Atlanta has been one of the markets that's had the highest rent growth from the period of 2020 to 2022. It was not uncommon for many markets to see double-digit rent growth during that time, and Atlanta even outpaced that, you know, in many cases, you know, somewhere between 19 and 22 percent, depending on the, the source that you, that you use. So with this particular submarket, it's been 13 percent annually for a decade. This is even exceeding just the last two years. It's an entire decade at this point. Now, we're not projecting anywhere near that in our underwriting, but it's something we wanted to point out because it's certainly an opportunity for things to potentially do better than what we projected. Next slide, please. Okay, so now we have some, some details about the loan. So the purchase price on this deal is $13.4 million. The mortgages we have combined are $9,782,000, which is 73% LTV. And we have a blended rate of 3.79%. On the senior loan, there's a rate of 2.87%, which is absolutely incredible. And then on the supplemental loan, there's a, a rate of 5.965. We have interest only for approximately 15 months from the time we acquired the property. And we have more than seven years left from the date we expect to close. Next slide, please. So here we have the sources and uses of cash. And on the left side, you can see the capital stack. So we have the two mortgages that we spent some time talking about because those are obviously a very, very important part of this deal. Then we have a preferred equity line item in there. Uh, we're, we're currently shopping around to different preferred equity sources, and we're seeing which one might be the best fit for this particular property. And then we have common equity, which is the opportunity for each of you to get involved with us in it. So on the right side, you can see how we plan to deploy that cash. Uh, the purchase price is obviously the largest portion because that's got to be paid at the, the closing. We have nearly a million dollars in CapEx that we're budgeting to spend on the property to further improve it. We have closing costs. We have eight months of our pro forma expenses is an operating reserve. And the reason we're doing that is we want to make sure there's ample cash reserves to operate the property, especially as we're working on getting these delinquent tenants out. And then we have an acquisition fee to the sponsor team. Next slide, please. Okay, so next steps. So what do you do if you're excited? Well, 
This here is an abbreviated version, but what we do have is a full webinar that will give you even more details along with the full review of the offering documents. So what you should do is reach out to one of our team members and schedule an appointment with them. They'll be able to give you access to all the, the offering docs and the resources so you can review them further. And if you want to have your financial professional or your attorney review them with you, you're welcome to do so. And if you have any questions, reach out to, to, to anybody in our team. We're glad to help you and to give you the guidance that you need. Thanks so much.